Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Andrew Adams. Welcome back to KSNT News. I hope you all had a great Saturday, and I think really for just about everybody, except for a few of us that saw some showers and thunderstorms a little bit ago this afternoon, really just wall-to-wall -wall sunshine across northeast Kansas. That's what we're looking at anywhere you look at our cameras right now. Just abundant sunshine. Looking at the West Topeka camera, the way I've got it situated facing further to the east, you can see the tops of some of those storms now out of northeast Kansas. Not our problem anymore. We're not going to have anything develop behind that as well. So a really nice night ahead of us. Pretty warm though right now this evening, 86 degrees. Feeling like 86 though, nice wind keeping our uh, feels like temperatures at bay. So just got really a bit above average for the high. Not so much for the low today, but nowhere near our record high, which I'm thankful for that. That would have been just a bit too hot, but we are cooler in some places. 77 registering in Seneca, largely though looking at the middle 80s this early evening across northeast Kansas, waiting for the cool down from a cold front that pushed through. That same cold front initiated some of the storms that a few of us saw, but really what we're noticing from it is the wind speeds right now, 8 to 15 miles per hour pulling in from the north. That will continue as we go into the overnight hours. Not going to cool us off too drastically. We'll drop off into the lower 60s, I think hovering that 60 degree line. But tomorrow afternoon, looking a bit cooler by about 10 degrees or so than how we were seeing today and could be even just a hair cooler to on uh, Monday as well. Now we do have some severe thunderstorm warnings. They've all been canceled for northeast Kansas. You notice they are out and behind this line nothing developing. I'll put this in motion so you can see that or rather still but nothing going on but sunshine behind all of the thunderstorms that are out of northeast Kansas. So that is some great news and it might look a little active when you look into the Rocky Mountains and out to the Mountain West but the good news is we're not expecting any of that to quite get to us, especially not for our Sunday. I think Sunday ends up being just a really gorgeous end to the weekend. Anything you want to do outside tomorrow, go for it. Upper 70s and sunny, pristine weather, light breeze out of the east. But by the time we get on into Monday, you'll notice some things start to change by the afternoon and evening, and that is rounds of showers and thunderstorms back on the entrance to northeast Kansas. And we'll see them not only Monday, well, they'll clear out for a time, but get them back in on Tuesday afternoon and evening as well. And on a sour note, that's not the last chance that we'll see it either. We're not quite out of storm season yet, and that sure, certainly shows on the seven day, especially once we warm back up into the 80s by Tuesday. I think we'll see better chances for thunderstorms Tuesday through Thursday. Now, it's pretty uncertain on the level of severity that we could expect out of these storms right now, but just know that chances for thunderstorms are in the playbook for the next several days. It looks like it won't be until we get into Saturday that we're back in the all clear and drier once again.